Hey everyone, this is Kestrel Raptorial, and here is Blackie Berry. Hey Blackie Berry. <laughs> Blackie Berry is my warrior cat. So, I like to share something with you. It is a set of little miniature uh, plush Eevee and Eeveelutions uh, that I recently bought. Um, I noticed that uh, in game stores, in uh, stuffed animal stores, they uh, have uh, begun carrying the um, Eevee and Eeveelution sets. Uh, the ones I've seen are a little bigger than uh, these ones. Actually, almost twice the size. Uh, and they go for about uh, $20 each. So, um, very pricey if you're trying to collect the whole set. Uh, these little miniature ones, um, I believe I got the full uh, set of nine of them for around $25. So, much more man manageable. These are the little ones. Uh, let's see. And I believe they were originally sold in the uh, Pokemon Center. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Center. Uh, I don't know originally where, but uh, this is the Eevee. Cute little Eevee. Um, not the most detailed, but uh, kawaii. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the three generation one, Kanto Evolutions. Here's Vaporeon. Uh, let's see, not a lot of detail in the tails, uh, but, you know, still really cute. Here's Vaporeon. I always thought Vaporeon kind of resembled uh, there's a mythical creature called a sea cat. Um, not a sea lion, kind of. Uh, I believe there's also a kind of uh, feline... Uh, I don't know, any type. It doesn't come from Japanese mythology. Um, another creature called a telkine. Uh, that Vaporeon resembles. Vaporeon in the games is also, uh, its tail is said to have been mistaken for a mermaid's tail. So I guess kind of a cat, fox, mermaid hybrid, kind of. I also always thought Vaporeon uh, in the games, in the artwork and illustrations, also resembled something of a river otter. And I know there are other otter Pokemon. Um, Weasel and Floatzel, for example. I don't really like their design. Um, I'd like a much more... Um, bipedal otter shape, uh, which Vaporeon comes very close to. And Vaporeon is really cute. They're all really cute, of course. Jolteon. Uh, the mini Jolteon is a little bit bigger than the uh, mini plush Vaporeon and Flareon. I know. But yeah, not a whole lot of detail in Jolteon. Jolteon was kind of the least detailed of them. Uh, Jolteon is a Raiju, a uh, Thunder Beast, which also the Pokemon Raikou, um, several other uh, electric kind of cat, fox, wolfish types like um, uh, what were they? What were they named? Uh, there's Mainetric. Um, well, um, anyway, uh, I forget Mainetric's pre-evolution. Uh, I knew it, but. Anyway, uh, yeah, Jolteon is Raiju. 
Flareon. My favorite. Cutesy. Um, Flareon is a Kitsune, Kitsune. Much like, um, much like Vulpix, Ninetales, uh, Fennekin, and its evolutions. Uh, Zoroa and Zoroark, uh, although they're dark type, not fire type, but fire, fire foxes, uh, Flareon's just another one of them. Uh, then we get to the, uh, Johto, uh, the Generation 2 Evolutions, Espeon, it's got a bit, there's a teeny little forked tail there. Um, Espeon, of course, is a Nekomata, a Japanese magical uh, two-tailed cat. And the dark type, Umbreon. Umbreon has a uh, number of inspirations. It is a, it fits into the mythology of the Halloween black cat. Uh, it's also a kind of a, it's kind of another dark fox. It's kind of a, kind of like Flareon is in the same rough category as uh, Vulpix and Ninetales and Fennekin. Uh, Umbreon is, uh, could be considered quite similar to Zoroa and Zoroark. Um, there's also a um, Japanese mythical creature called the Moon Rabbit. Uh, Usagi no Suki no, or something like that. And yes, the main character of Sailor Moon is based on this idea. Uh, is based on this creature named after. Uh, Usagi is named after that creature. But there is a Moon Rabbit. Uh, although Umbreon would have to be a kind of moon, rabbit, cat, fox hybrid. I never really think they resemble dogs. Um, cat, fox, if, if anything, um, if you don't just want to go with, you know, their mythical counterparts. Ah, and yes, I believe the, uh, Generation 4. Evolutions Generation 3 didn't come out with any evolutions, but um, Leafeon? Kind of just a forks, forest fox. Uh, I've heard it's kind of similar to the gray fox, uh, which does know how to cl climb trees, but the gray fox is gray, not green, of course. Kind of just a magical little forest fox. I, uh, I always expected if there was a grass evolution, to be released that uh, it would be evolved from Eevee uh, by a leaf stone. Not sure why they didn't do that. I guess they just wanted the special rocks, uh, the moss covered and ice covered rocks. But uh, um, yeah, I don't know why you can't just use a leaf stone. I mean, because that wasn't programmed into the, into the game mechanics, but you know, in universe, I always thought it should be leaf stone, but you know, leaf yana is certainly cute. Although I always imagined that the uh, grassy evolution would be named Arboreon. Uh, Arbor for tree. And the ice type. I was actually not expecting them to come out, come out with an ice type evolution. But it's cute. Glaceon. Which is pretty clearly an arctic fox. And the fairy type from generation five or six. I think it's I think it's six. Sylveon. Maybe it's five. Yeah. It's been a while since I studied Pokemon that closely. Anyway, um, yeah. Fairy type Sylveon. Um. The kind of fleshy ribbons are a little weird. It's okay. Um, 
Wasn't expecting the fairy type to be created. Um, although, I guess, uh, not sure why they didn't give Sylveon kind of uh, pixie wings or something. Now, yeah, the ribbons are still an odd choice, but oh well. They certainly kept all the evolutions cutesy. So, yeah, my personal favorite still remains Flareon. Uh, most of the time when I play the games, I evolve my Eevee into Flareon. Just uh, my choice, although I usually... Mm, well, I also train a Charizard when I can, but... Uh, my favorite move set for Flareon is, um, well, Bite, which is a dark type attack. Shadow Ball, a ghost type attack, quite versatile. Um, some variation of quick attack. I wish the Evolutions could learn extreme speed. That would be awesome. Uh, and then Flamethrower. So that's generally what I give my Flareon. Uh, those are the uh, teeny evolutions, and uh, if you want to collect them, you can probably buy the entire set for between twenty or thirty dollars. Kawaii.